Welcome, beautiful souls, thanks so much for being children of the Most High, Yah, Yeshua, aka Jesus Christ. All right, so without further ado, I want to go ahead and get into the observance of Yom Kemper, which we are experiencing right now. A very beautiful time. This is a day of atonement, okay? And it literally this year, it runs from around the 10th until the 11th. Um, give or the, the 11, 12. So give or take, you know, some people have different understandings of it, but this is an observation of the Day of Atonement, which if you're not familiar, Yom Kemper is a time to atone for your sins. It is a recap of the previous year and a time for solace, a time for quiet, introspection, fasting, um, and really praying, asking for forgiveness, and also breaking that fast for those that you love and also sharing goodwill, okay? So during this time, if you're not familiar with Yon Kemper, I'm going to just give you a little brief synopsis of why we celebrate Yon Kemper and the importance of this high holy day, okay? So Yon Kemper was first observed during the time of Moses. It was a time during when the Israelites made their exodus from Egypt aka ancient Kemet and after Moses returned from Mount Sinai you know he went up until to Mount Sinai with his 40 days fast um, prayer so that he can receive the Ten Commandments and when he returned the children of Israel the Israelites were worshiping a golden calf and in Moses' frustration he threw down the sacred tablets and he went back into another 40 days of prayer, um, receiving messages from the Most High in order to show forgiveness and pray for forgiveness for those that completely went astray. When he returned that second time from that next 40 days, he returned with another version of sacred tablets, um, the sacred tablets, Ten Commandments, and that was the beginning of the Day of Atonement. And so we observe as a remembrance of coming out of false beliefs, false concepts, um, being, you know, confused and lost in the wilderness. We are in the service of that. And this is a time to really reflect on what is it that you have missed the mark on? What is it that you may have committed sins about? Okay, being shamefaced in front of the Most High is a beautiful sign of not only humility, but showing reverence for this high holy day. And so as I share this with you, I want to also share um, a prayer to close this out because we're entering into the sunset, which ends the Yom Kemper for this year. Um, and we're going to also stay tuned. You're going to be blessed throughout this message. And if you believe in the most high Yeshua, Jesus Christ, like and subscribe, you know, be a blessing because as you you show participation within this platform, you will also be blessed. This is fertile soil. All right. And so I want to go ahead and share a few scriptures. And that is Psalm 143.12. In your unfailing love, silence my enemies, destroy all my foes, for I am your servant. I didn't intentionally mean to go to that scripture, but it was landed there. Maybe it's for somebody at this time. But, um, you know, you may even need to pray for forgiveness if you've tried to actually avenge um, harm that may have been done towards you for yourself. You know, vengeance is in the hands of the Most High. And so take yourself out of creating karmic debt for yourself or creating a backlash of negativity to come towards you by going against other people. So those that have been coming against you, you know, pray for the Most High to vindicate you and it will come to pass. We're going to move to Psalms 37 and 8. Refrain from anger, forsake wrath, fret not yourself, it tends only to evil. So this is a big one, a biggie for a lot of us because it's so easy to fall into what everybody else does within this world, which is take it upon themselves. You know, not everybody, but a lot of people take it upon themselves to avenge for themselves. They take it upon themselves to so-called get their leak back or, you know, show somebody the big one, whatever it is. But 
is so vital that you humble yourself in the face of the Most High, show up shame face, and really repent if you even had a thought of wanting to bring harm to someone that may have bring, brought harm to you. It's natural. We are human. We have these emotions, but it's important that although you may have those emotions, not to act on those emotions. Let's go ahead and move on to the next scripture. And that is Psalm 37 and 6. And it is, He will make your righteous rewards shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday sun. So you're going to, this is a promise from the Most High, Yah, Jesus Christ, Yeshua. You will be vindicated in due time. Have faith and do not even put stock into what is happening to those people that may have brought hurt to you. Or situations that you may have caused pain to others. Okay, ask for forgiveness and know that in due time you're going to shine. You are going to be shown vindication. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the scripture. Mm, and this is another scripture that may be something very profound that you may need at this time. It is Proverbs 26 and 26. While their hatred may be concealed by trickery. Their wrongdoing will be exposed in public. Another confirmation. Many of you may be going through this at this time where people are trying to come up against you and you're doing your best to live righteously. You're doing your best to, to treat people as if you wanted to be treated. And that may not be reciprocated, but continue to stay true. Keep ten toes down for the most high. You know, it's easy to get involved in sin, but it's so hard to get out of it. So allow yourself to be vindicated by the most high. He protects you. Let's go ahead and get into our prayer for Yom Kimbra. Dear Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, Almighty Yah Yeshua, I decree and declare you have made me unshakable in service to you. I am protected with your army presence. Today I make a conscious decision to live upright and righteous in all ways. The presence of Christ resides within me. Thank you for making me a vessel of divine light to usher in harmony in heaven in this new earth. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Create me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. I call on the infinite Holy Spirit, Ruha HaKadosh, for the law of forgiveness. I give thanks that I am under grace and not under law. I cannot lose, which is my divine right. I cast the burden of resentment, anger, hostility, and victimhood on the Christ within me. I go free to be loving, harmonious, healthy, and happy in all ways and all aspects of my life. Amen. In Jesus' name, Almighty Yah, Yahshua, so shall it be. All right, and so that's all we have. Prayers work. Prayer changes so many different things. So the mere fact that you tuned in and you have been really <sighs> the spirit of the Ruha Kapadash is very heavy here at this time. And so as we close out Yon Kimbra during sundown, understand that you are blessed. You are protected when you show yourself humble enough to really pray for forgiveness, pray for understanding and discernment, understand that the Most High will grant that to you. There are so many blessings that are beginning to happen in your life, so do not take it for granted. Be a blessing to others. This is also an aspect of Yon Kimbra, is to show goodwill and love towards others. So when these blessings happen for you, be sure to lend a helping hand to others that are in need. If you believe in the Most High, Jesus Christ, Yah, Yahshua, like and subscribe so that you can continue to share through this algorithm because the likes and subscribes get my messages out to the algorithm. And a part of this ministry, we are international and we are bringing harmony and heaven to this new earth. One beautiful soul at a time. So thank you for being a part of the blessing that's going to continue to bless so many people without, within this world. Amen.